Hello indie game fans, I really got to double down on summer showcase coverage since summer is quickly coming to a close, so let's begin with Outpost, an impressive looking first person shooter that has you facing off against the machines from the Matrix, allowing you to build bases or outposts, having multiplayer support and looks very promising. If you love co-op titles, Lost Twins 2 might be of interest, a puzzle platformer where two siblings need to work together to overcome challenges in order to reunite and find their way home, looking to be fun with a friend. This video is brought to you by publishers Untold Tales, Cubic Games and All In Games, who have some of their titles discounted on Switch, beginning with Lao, a newly released wholesome rhythm game that looks pleasant. Game Deck is a cyberpunk detective CRPG where you play as a detective investigating crimes in virtual worlds with an immersive sim flexibility of approach as well. A wonderfully emotional game is Arise, a simple story where you play as an old man on an epic journey having some of the most gorgeous landscapes and is worth picking up. Tools Up is a co-op title that is similar to Overcooked but has you fixing and repairing houses having the same sort of chaotic chaos fun. The Hong Kong Massacre is a game that I like, being a top-down shooter that is inspired by Hong Kong action movies such as the work of director John Woo with bullet time certainly adding to the cinematic effect. Golf Club Wasteland is a side-scrolling golf title where you play as the ultra-rich playing golf on the wasteland that was once Earth with an excellently crafted atmosphere that must be experienced. Finally, What Lies in the Multiverse is a funky puzzle platformer with the main mechanic of switching dimensions being well-made and is flying under the radar. If any of these are of interest, pick them up on the eShop via the links below. <laughs> We have some interesting musical games in this list with Odd Dada being one such title, a digital toy of sorts in a world where houses sing, looking very relaxing. Once upon a jester, always looking for a new adventure. Grab your backpacks, we're gonna sing and dance and sit up late again. Rose and Marsh, see a star, sing a song, it's Once Upon a Jester. A game that gives vibes of Wonder Song is Once Upon a Jester, a musical adventure where you play as a jester adventuring through the kingdom where they went to the trouble of creating an entire song for this trailer which is very impressive. I'm not usually a horror game person, but this trailer for Psychroma absolutely sucked me in with the voices serving as the beat, having a fascinating premise as well. You play as a digital medium, having to exercise the ghosts in the machine, so how's that for intriguing, with a very unsettling art style and facial expressions as well. The trend of relaxing city builders continues with Mossfield Origins, one way to build a self-sustaining colony where all buildings start from the same foundation and can be upgraded in various ways. The developers do note that there are no time pressures or external forces, which is always a tricky thing to get right, since while this will not stress anyone out, no stakes means that people may find it boring, so I hope they manage to tune it right. I had a tough time selecting the top few games on this list, so let me just slot in Rain World Downpour here, the DLC to one of the most interesting games out there, a survival exploration platformer known as Rain World where you play as a slug cat, where this adds 5 new playable characters as well as a bunch of new environments and enemies. One look at Ollie Frog Toad Skater and you will immediately get it, being a Tony Hawk Pro Skater style skateboarding title, but where you play as an adorable toad. I think that this looks awesome, but do wonder what the game's structure is like, but I know that many of you love these games so wishlist this if interested. First things first, how cute is this game? 
People Animal RPG is a turn-based roguelike that seems to be drawing inspiration from the Mystery Dungeon series where you play as adorable pixel art animals adventuring through the world in search of the missing king. Although now that I think about it, it's not very Paper Mario-like in the art style so I am confused about the name. Ova Magica has been a mainstay on this channel ever since I came to know of it, a Stardew Valley style farming sim but with slimes and Pokemon style combat, and for more upcoming games like Stardew Valley, watch this video and I will see you after the jump.